I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Superfly. I give the movie a solid B. Superfly is a remake of the classic film of the same name from the 70s, back in the era of black exploitation films. It's about a hustler named Youngblood Priest. He's been doing jobs and criminal activities ever since the age of 10. And while he has a criminal record, uh, his adult record is relatively clean. Uh, he's never been arrested. He rarely resorts to violence. He can uh, commit violence both with firearms and hand-to-hand -hand if necessary. But he prefers to resolve conflicts and issues with wisdom and words rather than straight-out intimidation and violence, which is something uh, very clever and wonderful to see. After an altercation with a rival gang member, he decides it's time to get out of the game, so he wants to do one last big elaborate scheme in order to get enough money to uh, flee Atlanta, flee the city, flee the country, along with his two live-in love interests. Now, normally with a theatrical release film, I would go well into spoilers, but this movie is flying very low under the radar. In fact, I struggled to find a variety of images to make this video. So uh, I'm not going to go into deep spoilers. I'm just going to give a general uh, statement about what I like and what I disliked about the movie. So there was a lot that I enjoyed about this movie. I'm not sure if I saw the original Superfly way back in my teens during the age of blockbuster video. I rented a lot of black exploitation movies. So my memories are perfect, and I don't just remember if I saw the original uh, Superfly or not. But if I did, I'm glad I forgot because uh, this movie offered a lot of nice surprises and twists. Uh, the action was cool. There's an amazing car chase sequence. There's uh, an amazing gunplay sequence. There's a cool uh, judo fight sequence, and the music, although I'll say a negative in the negative section, the music was very cool. So, yeah, uh, and the acting was nice. I'm not familiar with the uh, lead actor, but the acting was nice by him and many other principal characters. So on those general fronts, I have a lot of praise. There are only a handful of negatives I have about this movie. Uh, first of all, uh, there's a lot of use of the N-word, which I expected. It's an R-rated film, and like I said, it was made during that black exploitation era where the N-word was very readily used, so I'm not surprised that it's in this movie with dialogue and with songs, but still, I personally you know, don't really enjoy it. Uh, another thing that's negative is there are a lot of characters which overall get balanced, but as the film progresses, you keep getting introduced another one and in, uh, progresses, introduced another, progresses another one. It's like, it's like you're expecting, like, well, who do I have to remember or not remember? Who's important, not important? For the most part, at the end, it all wraps up, but still, it's just weird to constantly be introduced to this element and this element and this element and this element and this element, compiling and piling. But to my great surprise, it does all work out, but still, it was just a little uh, frustrating having to keep track of everything, uh, especially with uh, the love interest. Uh, as I said, he has two live-in love interests, and in the beginning of the movie, they're introduced as they're pretty much equal footing in the eyes of young blood priests, but towards the end, it's kind of clear that one girl is preferred over the other, and I guess because maybe uh, she was first in his life, so that she becomes first. Uh, but also, there's a scene where they got to go pick up uh, Cynthia. Cynthia's the second girl, George is the first girl. I'm, I'm just laboring second and first uh, myself. <laughs> but anyway, they go to pick up Cynthia, and it seems that they're going into a different location than where they were before. And I'm honestly not sure if it's two different houses or if it's the same house in a different area because it just seems so different. Which leads me to the ultimate negative is that uh, while the story is great and the performances is great and the uh, music is great, the action is great, uh, there's just um, settings are a little off and tracking who's doing what is a little off and even uh, the title screen uh, the title screen flashes across uh, the screen moment. it's a blink in your missing moment and in the credits uh, when the super five classic star starts coming on you're expecting that to lead into the credits and then transition to a new film but it doesn't it just sort of like starts with the uh, general um, rhythm 
And then when the main credits are coming on, because it's a brand new song, it's like, no, 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 this is the time to have the cool song going. And even the final shot isn't as epic as it should be uh, for a movie called Superfly and when he uh, showing off his uh, ultimate fate. So uh, I looked it up, and this movie is directed by uh, Director X. He is a very popular music video director. He's only done a very small handful of films before this, so it could be a case of just uh, he not fully transitioned from uh, music video style to theatrical styles. So uh, there's est establishing items that should be better established. There's tracking items that should be tracked, and there's actually uh, title screens and, and text and stuff like that. You know, it's small things on their own, but uh, help the film in general. So hopefully yeah, as his career progresses, uh, he'll get better at that. And it doesn't ruin the movie. It's just that, you know, it helps. It helps uh, the overall experience. So, uh, you know, maybe he'll get better in time. I hope so. So like I said, this film is very entertaining. It's very exciting. It's very thrilling. Cool action, cool scenes. I really like the young blood character. I like the idea of a guy that's a hustler but can get by more with words than with just with threats and punching and violence, only using violence when he absolutely has to. And even then when he does have to, he, he wants to utilize his brain. It, it's sort of like watching a, a, a evil version of uh, T'Challa the Black Panther. You know? So it was very cool. And if Director X uh, can make some adjustments in future films. I think uh, he has a really great career uh, going forward in theatrical releases, just as he has with uh, music videos. Uh, and aside from, of course, the you know, N-word, I'm not into that. And maybe you have a problem, maybe you do, but I'm not into that. But hey, I knew it was going to come to the territory. So bottom line, I enjoyed it. Very nice, uh, very promising, very exciting, solid B grade. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to post whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hero Knight. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.